said the same thing to coach uh, down down in crunch time. You seem to be kind of like the, the coach wants to get it in there to you, whether you're scoring um, or getting to the free throw line. You seem to be really comfortable down the stretch when, when the game's on the line. Can you just talk about that comfortability? Um, it's just, you know, whatever my team needs, you know, um, if we needed a buck, um, you know, it's easy for us to score the closer we are to the basket. So, you know, we ran a few sets to get me down low, close to the basket, and <clears throat> hopefully take my man one-on-one -on -one or the help comes, make a play for our team. And uh, it's as simple as that. Ten. Uh, Jules hit that big three. Today's his birthday. Did you guys uh, get, celebrate a little bit extra in the locker room with him? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, we were super excited uh, after the win. We came in here, you know, for his birthday. Um, it was a big shot, and, you know, I was happy to see it going on a day like this. Mike? Hey, Cody. Um, can you talk about the mentality of the team? I mean, you guys have had several games where you've had to grind it out, um, but yet, you know, you get the result, you know, 8-0 eight, eight in uh, conference play. Um, you know, are you guys comfortable like that? Do you guys feel like you maybe have to start a little bit quicker? Yeah, um, <clears throat> I feel like uh, at the end of the day, we're, we're planning to get the win, and we came out with the win today. Um, I heard Coach talking earlier, and I agree with him. I feel like it's really hard to win on the road, regardless of the team you're playing. And um, today we played a team that was hitting some big shots. And, uh, you know, Grant 15, uh, you know, you had a great game, 5-5 five, five from three. Um, you know, you got to tip our hats off to them there making shots. And, you know, we expected that because we're at their place. And they're probably like six and two here. So we knew that we're going to get their best shot. And, you know, they stayed with us the whole game. And we're just glad again we came out with the victory. And go ahead. What did you guys do defensively uh, at the three point line in the second half that was a little bit different? Yeah, um, we decided to start switching the screens, you know, instead of um, trying to trap or, you know, hedging. You know, we decided to switch just so guys could rotate faster and um, try to stop their three-point shots that they're hitting early in the first half that were really hurting us. So that was a switch that we made in the second half, and I feel like it worked for us. <clears throat> Questions for Cody? All right. Thank you, Cody. Well, appreciate you. We'll have uh, Joel Bernard coming up next. And Ben, we'll start with you. Uh, first of all, happy birthday. Thank uh, you. How did you, uh, how did it feel to hit that shot? Uh, and did you guys celebrate uh, in the locker room, uh, especially because it was uh, your birthday? Uh, well, um, first of all, uh, you know, I'm glad we got the win. Um, it, was, it was a tough, a tough night, especially, you know, with the team at home who's physical on defense. But, you know, um, with that shot, I, I just wanted to be confident. You know, Tiger hit me and I was open. So I took the shot and with confidence and, 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 you know, my feet were set and I had all of it. So um, I knew I had a good chance of going in and luckily it did. And then after the game, you know, uh, my boy, uh, Russell Stong, he tried to he tried to throw some water on me, but, you know, it was too cold for that. So, but then they did say happy birthday. So it was pretty nice. And? So did he did he miss you with the water or what happened? Nah, I I saw him. I saw him. He was coming up and with the with the cap off, and I saw him lurking. So uh, I had to I had to check him before uh, before he threw it. You guys keep winning these close games. Do you guys have a belief now that you can you can win no matter uh, who's having a good game or what's really happening in the game? Well, yeah. I mean, I think you know it's a sign of a of a team that knows how to win is when you know, we have ugly games like this and, and, and our defense helps us come out on top. Um, I think that's a, a sign of a great team. Um, you know, I think we can get to that status, great team, but we still have a lot of work to do, um, you know, on both sides, defensively, offensively. But, you know, it's just one game at a time. You know, I, I feel like we're improving in certain spots each game and we just got to 
take those improvements and take up and take them into the next game. But um, all in all, you know, we're just trying to work to, to be that great team. And, you know, winning on the road is, is definitely um, a, a good step in, in that direction. Mike, go ahead. Hey, Jules. Um, you, you guys have had a few of these games where they're grinded out and, you know, you just kind of talked about it. You, you get mentally tough, but, you know, it, it must wear on you. What do you guys do in game, late in the game to try to uh, stay fresh? You know, do you guys pick each other up? What do you, what do you guys say at the end of games like this? Uh, just, you know, and just encouraging everyone, you know, we, we all know we play tough games, but we, uh, after, especially after games like on the road, you know, our, our main goal, we, we know it's not going to be an easy game. You know, we preach that, you know, it's, it's very rare that we go into another team's home and, and blow them out. So just the just the feeling of, of beating a team on the road, um, you know, even if it was a grinded out, we, we sort of feel a reassurance and, um, you know, definitely excited. So I think that sort of brings our spirits up, you know, gets, um, you know, gets us excited and stuff, you know, looking, uh, looking forward to do it again. So just, just winning, I think, is, is the biggest thing, you know, even if we're tired, you know, we play a lot of minutes, um, tough grinded out games. I think that we reaping the rewards of that is, is what sort of keeps us going. 